I found my people. All right guys, just got out of clinic. It's around noon, time for my pathetic lunch break, consisting of sandwiches. And what else we got in here? Five grapes left? This measly bag of carrots. So I'm gonna have my pathetic lunch, and then I'm gonna go to class where I get my pathetic score on my quiz grade. Tired guys, today was a rough day. I'm starting to realize that I really don't like mucus. I really, really don't like mucus. Like my brothers, one night when I was younger to make me vomit, they would put their mucus in their mouth and then show it to me, and I would vomit. And I'm starting to realize that uh, kids, you know, they do that a lot. <laughs> and sometimes when I, sorry, when I look in their mouth, or their nose, and it's just, <laughs> it's just got a lot of mucus in it. Um, like I have to turn away. I have to like gag a few times in private so that I don't scare the baby or the ch or the child. I have. I will deal with it somehow. Oh my gosh! Oh no! The most awkward subject ever. Adolescent medicine. Deesh. Don't want to learn about this. Maybe I can finally learn how to ask these awkward questions the right way. Isn't it funny that I was once an adolescent, but every time I talk to one, I'm like, uh, I have no idea what to say to you. Uh, are you an adult? Are you a child? I don't know. Can't process. Brain malfunctioning, poof. Puberty is defined as the process of hormonal and physical changes whereby the body of a child matures into that of an adult. Physiologically capable of sexual reproduction. My teenage years were the epitome of awkward. Very, very awkward. So many bad moves, so many bad decisions, so many embarrassing mistakes. Yeah, I was not very cool. <sighs> Sometimes when I think about when I was like 13, 14, I just have to take a minute. I realize that that, was, that actually happened. That period of my life actually happened. Bay coming in hot. Steaming up that broccoli. Good man. <laughs> All, right, All right, guys, I'm gonna, I'm gonna open this. All right, America. Ah! I hate this. First time opening a champagne bottle. <laughs> yeah. Hey guys, so it is 11:36. It's Friday, and as you can see, I'm already going to clinic with no makeup, bad hair, and this random outfit that I put together because. I just don't care anymore, and I really don't think children do either. Onward to the last day of outpatient peds. So Adora just finished her I, uh, internal medicine board exam. So to celebrate, we're going to go to Austin this weekend for Labor Day weekend. And I, <laughs> we got this ratchet hotel. This place is so crazy. I feel like this is where drugs and bad things happen. Okay, everybody. So it is me and Adora. We are going to Austin right now because she just finished with her internal medicine board exam. Woo! And um, also, I just need a reason to uh, party. Party, here we are, Ace Motel Manor. Entrance is right here. Step on up to be murdered and slashed Why in half. nobody else here? <laughs> no wonder this was a good deal. Oh, that door's open. I wonder what happened in there. I guess we park right, oh, is that the office? That tiny thing? Oh, that's okay. We're going to the hotel room. Wow! Yeah. Okay, it's, it should be fine. Yeah, it's a little hot. <laughs> uh, we are at the PCL, which if you don't know is the UT Austin Library, where a lot of people rot and lose hours of life. I know I've spent maybe over a thousand hours here because of my stupid Bachelor of Science theory. So we're gonna go inside and relive the heartache. You guys, seeing this library makes me think how happy I am that I'm not in college anymore because college was so freaking hard. I would have to spend forever in this library. I think Adora had a lot more fun than I did. But yes, I just wanted to be such a, a top-notch student. I wanted to get A's in every class. 
I was your typical loser who spent way too much time in the library. I could spend six hours a day. I guess I'm just really happy that I'm not here anymore. UT was so hard and so competitive. You know, all of the smartest people of the world are here. So I would sit at one of these desks for hours and hours. I'm shook. <laughs> There's no <laughs> Isn't this sad? While all of my friends were partying and having fun and doing crazy things, I was there. But now it's kind of funny because we get to have a lot of fun and, I don't know, feel confident about the future. I guess they put in those hours of work in the beginning. All of you are minions and I am queen! Okay, right, Adora. Monday. It's Labor Day and uh, I didn't go to school today, which was awesome. Tomorrow is gonna be super interesting because I am going to the newborn nursery to meet the babies, the newborns, the day olds or the couple hours old and hopefully maybe even see a delivery. It's a very rainy day outside. Yeah, it's pretty awful. It's raining really, really hard. But luckily and unluckily, I have to start being at clinic at 7 a.m., which means I have to start waking up at 6 a.m., which is not fun because I hate mornings. And if you've been watching my channel, you know how much I hate mornings. But that's okay because it's new and I like new things. I have a little bit of interest in neonatology. I kind of want to be a neonatologist. So tomorrow should be my cup of tea, but we'll see. So I'm packing my lunch, getting everything ready for tomorrow, getting all my assignments in my backpack, because I have a few. I have my scrubs and my white coat. So this is the first day where I actually get to wear scrubs, and this is the first time where I'm going to the hospital. That should be interesting and new, and I'm really excited. Okay, so my teeth are brushed. I'm in my pajamas. I'm going to grab my laptop, bring it to my room. <sighs> And for the remainder of the night, do some reading over fluid, electrolyte, and pH management until this makes me fall asleep, which inevitably it will. Let's see how long I can last before- Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> that was the worst sleep ever. <laughs> Why did my eyes sting? Oh great, just what I like to see. Ugh, so cold. White coat must put on. Okay guys, wish me luck as I get through the pouring rain to get to school and then walk a mile to get to my clinical site. Oh my goodness, trying to make it to school alive. It's just started to rain harder. I hate Texas. Living that inner city life. That guy's got the right idea. Those little raincoats. But why do they have a shawl? Ugh. Death defying stunts by America Revere. I'm actually so excited to be working at a hospital finally. Cause I always spend it at this school. I don't know, I'm excited. What if the vibes are different? What if they don't accept me? Hey Cooper! Oh, oh my gosh, what do I do? Oh gosh. Oh, oh. Thank God I was in ballet for one year in kindergarten. I feel in my element. I got the scrubs and I'm in the hospital. This is cool. Whoa, where am I? <laughs> Dude, what is this? I feel like I'm about to go fight the end of the game monster. I'm just trying to get to the nursery. Okay. I mean, it must be this way. Okay, let's try this again. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm so tired. So I'm gonna make my big salad and then I'm going to sleep. And it's only 6.30.
Let's roll. All right, we are at school. So freaking early in the morning that the sun isn't even out yet. But how much you wanna bet that every single one of my teammates is already there and has been there for over 30 minutes. <laughs> morning life is not for me. It is 12.30 and I am free from the nursery. I'm now trying to eat my banana very quickly. Take the tower down so I can get to my quiz at one. But these elevators are taking forever. Three more pairs of scrubs because medicine has officially consumed my life. So for lunch, I usually make a huge bowl of salad with baby spring mix as long as it's completely drenched in tons of ranch and croutons. Ah, after laying on the couch and doing nothing, it's 8.30, so you know what that means. so quickly when I'm here. <laughs> I don't think I'm at the right spot, but I have nowhere else to go. <sighs> Let's go in this elevator. <laughs> See where that takes us. Hopefully it's a NICU, but if not, then I'm lost. The newborn, or the NICU, newborn next to you, and I am finally leaving. One of the cool things about medicine is like, when worlds collide. Like um, for every C-section or at-risk baby, uh, I have to go in with a neonatologist. We're the peds side of medicine. And when I go into that room, I always see the ob -gin third year medical student. And that's kind of where OB and peds collide. For a C-section patient, there's this handoff or this exchange of the OB. The OB is the one who takes the baby out, holds it, shows a mom to it, and then the OB passes it to another person. And that person is a pediatrician. And in that exchange, it's kind of like the OB has finished. She has delivered the baby. She has taken care of the mom in this entire nine month long journey. And now the pediatrician is accepting this newborn baby for a lifelong of care. And then one of the other crazy things, I don't know if you guys have ever seen a C-section, but it's literally the weirdest, most amazing thing ever. It's really unlike anything that you've ever seen. Even if you've seen every horror movie or every sad movie or every crazy awesome movie, you will not be desensitized to the amazing feeling of looking at a c-section so this baby literally was just swimming around depending on mother for everything and in five seconds the baby is pulled out of the uterus it looks like a gray blob the baby doesn't move it doesn't make noise it looks gray it doesn't look anything like life like a human or at least in my opinion anyway and it gets so quiet in the room there can be up to 15 people in the room and we were all just making a lot of noise all just asking all these questions and when the baby's pulled out we all get quiet because we're all waiting to hear it it's quiet for about three seconds but it's the craziest three seconds ever because the only thing that's on our mind is come on baby say something do something and out of nowhere this gray blob just wee, wee, gets all pink starts moving around and crying and we're all just like whoo those three seconds feel like they last forever you just think oh come on say something say something cry please please and then they do and it's like yay baby came to life i've seen a lot in medical school but that's up there in like one of the most unbelievable things to ever see. Oh my gosh. This is my favorite episode of House. I wish my job was just solving crime. Well, except for crime, like diagnoses. I want to be a diagnostician. Ugh. It's so cool because I haven't seen House in years. In like years, like five years. And I used to never understand really what they were saying. And now it's like, oh my goodness, I know exactly what they're talking about. They're speaking my language. This is cool. This is 
the bridge to the garage. The girl who was telling me how to get here calls it the piano room. everybody so oh my goodness unfortunately I am very sick right now um, which I knew was gonna happen sometime in peds but unfortunately it's happened so I, I don't know if it's allergies or if it's a cold or something but yeah I'm gonna stay in tonight watch that new movie there Burgess is a loser because that just came out today <laughs> And then just stay in the house with Calyx for the rest of the day. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you liked the video. And I will see you in my next one. Goodbye, everybody.